sorry about that wonderful so um it's the beginning of um a great week and um it's full moon almost full moon not full moon but almost full moon in um toronto um and in the arts or in the um, tribal space um in the ancient times there were ceremonies and those ceremonies were um really uh about celebrating uh, patterns of life including seasons including moon's movement including uh, sun's movements and there are some uh, cultures and some religions they still follow the lunar calendar um, like some religions for example um, schedule let's say their special events based on the lunar calendar like the new moon uh, time or the full moon time so um, I like to stay connected with the nature um, and that's why I thought like it's full moon time so I mean it's it's the best time to really work through other our patterns and resolving our patterns because in the ancient times and in some religions uh, that still like you know um persist to this day um full moon time is about reflecting um what needs to be released reflecting on what needs to be released or reflecting on what has come to its maturity or what has needed to come to its maturity because there are cycles in life you know and there are cycles in life as we grow we come to this world as infants and then through cycles of development um, we become adults and nature repeats that too if we come up with a, an analogy let's say using nature nature has cycles too like there are seasons and then a moon uh, has its cycles too so it starts with the new moon and then it has its cycles and the cycle ends with the full moon so thinking about life's themes in this you know um context we can approach some of the themes of life as cycles that need to be completed that need to be released that need to reach um to their maturity so um, that's why in the arts space expressive arts space i would like to work with themes um, because those themes working uh, through themes is really tra a transformative experience not only for me as a, the therapist or the coach but also for the clients that i work with it's always a transformative experience for them so what we are going to do today we will be working uh, through our difficult patterns and we will focus on resolving or transforming them into psychological themes that will work with us not against us so a life pattern means a theme that repeats itself in our lives some of the life patterns are our allies they are supportive so like um a sense of joy when we play with our family members for example it's supportive you know but some of the patterns life patterns they work against us they're part of us that's the interesting thing they're part of us they're part of who we are but they're not supportive they're not functional they create some dysfunctions in our lives 
and um, they either slow us down or um, they create mood swings. They prevent or block us in certain occasions or maybe certain events in, in a specific context. And eventually they lower our self-esteem and confidence. And sometimes they lower our faith in something and they might if they persist those difficult life patterns that you know create limitations in our lives if they persist we might develop um, a sense of learned helplessness we might develop limiting beliefs we might lose our faith so those if we don't resolve them in time uh, or if we ignore them avoid them um, when we ignore and when we avoid our usual response is to suppress them you know we we don't express we suppress when we don't express our emotions we suppress them so we either express or we suppress as we suppress them um over time for some you know uh, period of time then they become more stronger and they become more persistent so what we need to do is um, for ourselves and for um, others that we support we help to first to create a sacred space a sacred space is the safe space to release and express we know we need to uh, create a safe space so that we can express and when we express we release that's what we are going to do today and um, one more thing uh, about uh, life's patterns if we don't express them, if we don't resolve them, if we don't work um, on resolving those patterns, they might create pain and mental pain, emotional pain, and, and even somatic pain, like physiological pain and some disorders as well. And um, a life pattern uh, can manif can manifest it ma sorry manifest itself <laughs> in the form of difficult relationships in the form of lack of love lack of money uh, work difficulties career difficulties job difficulties um, repeating fears like irrational um, fears and so on you can just you know um, create a long list with those patterns so what we are going to do in our class today we will be working on transforming those difficult patterns of life through using expressive arts okay and using the arts using the expressive arts what we do is we integrate our whole self in this transformational process and our whole self includes our five senses our tactile our auditory our visual our uh, smell our five senses and our conscious self and our subconscious self so when we work with the whole self with a purpose of creating transformation towards resolving our pain overcoming our, our limitations what we achieve is tremendous transformation when we work with our whole self the transformation stays there it becomes a sustainable transformation it stays there um, till the end of our lives and I'm serious I'm not exaggerating I've seen um, tremendous transformation with myself with my clients um, repetitively working with them through expressive arts working with their whole self including five senses 
including um, the conscious and the subconscious self. So, which is so valuable. It's, it's a gift. It's a gift. And when that happens, when that transformation happens, when, um, when the pain is released through expressing and through um, sharing, through acknowledging, a, a tremendous amount of energy is released because we keep suppressing that, you know, energy. Each emotion is an energy. And a tremendous amount of energy is released. And if we don't do anything with that energy, we will still feel relief. But then if we don't do anything, if we don't have any intentions or like, you know, purpose, then what will happen, the, the cycle come, uh, can come back. The pattern can come back. So what we do, is through coaching we drag that energy that is released which is the psychological energy that which is very precious precious for um, us for our clients life so we drag that energy into something that is meaningful through helping our clients helping ourselves and then our clients coming up with an intention creating intentions and having goals envisioning a better future and then what we do is like that energy that is released like you know it's fresh it has been there for so long that is fresh that energy is directed into something that is useful and meaningful. That is how we achieve flow in our lives. And it's a constant regulation because we like our habits, as you know. We are made of habits as human beings. So it's a constant regulation. And, and if you just don't have any intentions any purpose any goals the natural state of our mind as you know is chaos so that's why it's a constant regulation and when we are not able to do it on our own sometimes we cannot we might not have um, the discipline then we ask or we reach out for external support and coaching is that external support so it's, it's, it's a matter of constant regulation until you repeat it and you repeat it and you repeat it. Then the new habit is formed and the pattern, the cycle that was there and, and was dysfunctional result forever. And that kind of transformation takes in my experience, it takes about three months and, um, and sometimes six months. If there is a pathology or a disorder like OCD, et cetera, et cetera, then, you know, of course, therapy should be the norm. That's a different story. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is working with clients, working for, first of all on our own, or for our own to resolve our own patterns and with clients to help them overcome their limitations in life that might uh, be in the form of some fears or some limiting beliefs um, or some um, sense of learned hope hopelessness etc 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 so that takes some time and if you repeat if you help them and stay with them in about three months there is tremendous transformation. It's, it's, it feels like magic for them and for us, so rewarding. So that's what we are going to do today in the class. And um, each of us, that's why I sent you an email and asked for like, think about um, some of the things like repeating patterns of life 
that you would like to transform. And it might be anything, um, but a pattern is a repetitive theme. So I would like you to really think about some repetitive themes in your life that hasn't been serving to you anymore. And it's not pleasant to have that, you know, theme. So I will give you, if you uh, haven't thought, I will give you a few minutes, maybe one minute or so, just to think about some um, patterns that you would like to transform. <laughs> 